Hello and welcome to the Nature Photography Show. In this video, I'm going to show you how to focus stack your images using Lightroom Classic and Photoshop. And here we are in Lightroom. I have four images that I've chosen. I've already photo finished these images and we will focus stack these using Photoshop. But before we get there, I want to talk a little bit about the image itself. You'll notice that it was 1 250th of a second at F8 and ISO 64. I was trying to keep the ISO as low as possible and I knew that I was going to be focus stacking this in post and so I chose F8 as my aperture because it is tack sharp on the 7200 lens that I'm using. But you'll notice why it's necessary to focus stack. So that looks pretty sharp, but the more you look back in the back, it starts getting really, really, really soft because your depth of field will not reach all the way to the back of this image. So as you go through these other images, you will notice areas on these that are sharper than the first one. And I've done this on four images, which go all the way back to the mountains in the background. So that I have every aspect of this in focus. Now, to get this over to Photoshop, specifically for focus stacking, on this one, you'll click item number two, hold down your shift key, click item number five, and you have selected all four images. Now you're gonna right click and you will edit in right here, Photoshop, open as layers in Photoshop. We're gonna click that and what this is gonna do is it's gonna stack the images in Photoshop for you so that you don't have to do this once you get in there. And you can see them now on the right hand side here, they're beginning to load. These are pretty big files so it may take a moment. And then once they load, there's a few more things that we have to do in order to get the focus stack to do what we want. Now they're loaded. What you're going to do is select all of these layers, starting with the top one, hold down shift key, select them all. And then you're going to go to edit, auto align layers. This will take care of any kind of movement that you might have had at the time. I know it was really, really windy for me while I was out there. And so this lines up all of the images together to make sure that they're identical. And there wasn't much change. You can see just a tiny bit over here on the right. That's because I was locked down on a tripod. Now you go, once this is done, you're still selected over here on the right. You go to edit, auto blend layers, and you're going to stack images and you're going to hit OK. And now on the right hand side, you're going to begin to see the computer work. And what it's going to be doing is it's going to be creating layer masks. And each mask is only going to take what is sharp in focus. So now you can look here, you see the white and the black. Each one of those is different, which means each one of those has a different part of the image that was sharp and it takes only the sharp images. To get back into Lightroom, you go to File, Save, and through the magic of editing, you didn't have to sit through that. So we're going to minimize Photoshop and go back into Lightroom. And Lightroom has already imported the edited file from the PSD when we saved it in Photoshop. That's very convenient. I typically like to stack all of my images together, so we're going to select that one. We're going to hold down. We're going to select these others individually. And then we're going to right click and we're going to say stacking group into stack. And that just makes it a little bit more tidy. Now let's take a look at what this focus stacking actually got us. If you'll remember before, as we zoomed in on this image, there were parts in each image that were soft. And now when we zoom in, it is razor sharp from front all the way back to the mountains. This is very important if you're using a telephoto lens for a scene such as this, because the hyperfocal distance is so far out there and your depth of field is so narrow that it becomes a challenge to get it all in focus. 
Yes, you could focus somewhere around right here and do pretty decent, but you're going to notice some depth of field issues in the front and some in the back for certain. So learning to focus stack is just a neat way to maximize your depth of field and get razor sharp images from front to back. And that is how you focus stack images using Lightroom Classic and Photoshop. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. And as always, grab your camera, get off the couch, escape, explore, and create. Images using Lightroom Classic and...